So, do people just naturally think they're introverts? Because um, I've been watching Twice's like discovering their MBTI, and of the people who've gone through it, the only one who scored as an extrovert on the I'm guessing it's the 16 personalities test, but the only one who scored as an extrovert is Sana, and no, <laughs> there are a lot more extroverts in Twice than that. Like really, Taihun. Uh, Taihun, Geo, and uh, Nyan, like, none of them are extroverted? Like, r really. R really. But I also noticed this in my own life. For the longest time, I thought I was an INTJ. A, so, like, I thought I was more introverted and such. And then when I talked to my mom, who is, like, the archetypal ESFJ. Like, if you're imagining an ESFJ, you're imagining someone like my mom. Well, she thought she was more introverted. And, um... I think it comes down to two things, or actually a couple of things, things why people seem to think they're more introverted than they are. So in the normal parlance, it's because the whole conception of an extrovert, it's like, oh, you get energized by being around with other people. And it's like, well, yeah, but going out with other people still wears you out, even if you are an extrovert. It may be a more pleasant wearing out, but like... The whole concept of how extrovert versus introvert is described is kind of like naturally makes it seem as if you're more introverted just by virtue that getting outside of your house requires effort. So if you are going to talk to other people, that's going to require some effort regardless of whether you're an introvert or an extrovert. So like the whole, oh, you recharge your battery with people, yada, yada. Well, that's going to make a lot of people think they're a lot more introverted than they are. Um, now, in MBTI parlance, one of the things I think explains this is, first, we notice our own introverted functions more than we notice the extroverted functions. So, like, since the introverted functions are internal, we notice those, whereas we aren't as easy to notice other, like, our external functions as much. But also, three, um, if you're conceptualizing extroversion in a certain way, you might be so like as an as an ENTJ, I always conceptualized extroversion in a more extroverted feeling manner, which as an ENTJ, I'm not. I don't have extroverted feeling. Like throughout my entire academic career, I was always doing something. I was always part of clubs. I had no trouble speaking in class. I had no trouble doing doing things. Whenever we had like a group project, I always was part of it. Part of it, I was never particularly shy when it came to like doing some sort of task, going some sort of place. Nice. So like a lot of the like in a T E S E sense, I was fairly extroverted, but I was conceptualizing it in a very F E way. And when I talked to my mom, who is like again an E S F J, when she talked about extroversion. She was thinking of extroversion in a very extroverted sensing manner, like going out, going out to different events, exploring the world and exploring things, which as an ESFJ, she doesn't have extroverted sensing. Like she isn't the type of person to constantly go out. But when she does go out, she is far, far more sociable than I am. So, yeah, I think a lot of people think they're a lot more introverted than they are. And... I haven't really seen any evidence to say the contrary, to see someone who is more in actually, someone who thinks they're more extroverted than they are. Like, I'm sure there are probably examples, but it doesn't seem as prevalent as um, people thinking they're more introverted than they are. Um, so, yeah. The common parlance is stupid. You might be conceptualizing extroversion in a different way, and we also notice our introversion more. Is there any other hypotheses that I can put forward? Yeah, I think that'll do it. Um, yeah, as a rule of thumb, if you think you're an ambivert, you're probably more extroverted than you're giving yourself credit for. So, um, yeah.